and welcome to another episode of East Wing. Oh shit. <laughs> welcome to another episode of East with Meech. Uh the cooking show where I cook some shit and you figure out if I know how to do it well or not too well. My favorite, most famous recipes, you know what I mean? Meech's homemade pico de gallo with some uh, ground beef nachos. You can get you some cheese, you can get you some sour cream. You can do whatever you want. But everything else you would put on a taco or a nacho, it's gonna be in the salsa. So you just throw a bunch as a heap into that bitch that you want on top of it. Have you a good little time. Entertain a great amount of guests. We do it for the Super Bowl, basketball games, movie night. What the fuck you wanna do? I mean, cause it's a, it's a handful. You just put it on the plate, walk around, chip. You feel know I me? Mean? It's a good time. So, recipe consists of for every one tomato, two jalapenos. Depending on how much spice you want. I don't know what the fuck you do. I don't know, you know, what you got going on with your acid reflux. Uh, red onion. Usually one for every fucking salsa you're doing. You don't ever, never really eat too much onion. You don't know what they breast smell like a bunch of onion. And if you're allergic or not to cilantro, then throw that motherfucker in there. It really don't change shit. Just kind of give it a little more kick and a little more texture and flavor. And then lemon juice, lime juice, salt, pepper. That's all you're gonna really need for the pico. And then nachos, that's a whole other story. I'm gonna cut up this goddamn tomato. I hate cutting up tomatoes for the simple fact that they squishy and shit. So once you get to dicing, bro, you gotta like be careful of the motherfucker. Dude. Juice spilling everywhere. Fuck your whole finger up. Everybody got their own dicing method. Me personally, I don't, I don't, I don't know what the fuck wants to happen. How you supposed to do it? I do this shit, how my mama taught me. And you take that up with her, you tell her if she did it wrong or did it right. Feel me? Cut down the middle, get that rind out. I don't even know what's called. But yeah, simply cut down. Oh, cut too far. Cut down, not all the way down. Small pieces. Watch your goddamn thumbs as you see that I'm clearly not doing a good job of doing. You wanna cut down as deep as you can without it actually separating. And then you're gonna just cut perpendicularly. But keep that motherfucker, you see that bitch spilling out through the bag already. Just nuts. This bitch gonna fall apart, you know what I mean? Shit was doomed from the beginning. But it's just a little stuff we could salvage through there. And that's what marriage is. I should probably go to therapy. All right, put it on the side, cut it down. Put it on the side, cut it down. And you see the marks of where you cut it. So if, if you are not perfect like me, you fuck around and didn't cut all the way down on certain parts, but just try to cut. You, you know, we can't say the whole tomato. And we can always just do this. Cut that bitch up, cut that bitch up. Take your onion, avoid the eye, and cut that top off. We're just gonna cut probably about this much. Did I cut the eye? I'm fucking around, cut the eye. Don't matter. Anyways, peel it. And you just go dice across the side. Mm -mm -mm. Keep them close to each other if you can. As you see, my bitch is falling apart. Y'all know me. Slow and steady ring the race. I ain't trying to lose my fingers. Either I learn proper technique with my thumbs, or I take my time with this shit. And I am not on Iron Chef. It's no need to be rushing. Back to as close as possible as the original. Turn it sideways and go across perpendicular. Same thing we did with the onion. I mean, same thing we did with the tomato. Just an onion, so you gotta move it a little differently. Make sure you're going across fully. 
See, I'm not picking up the front of the blade. Doing a little rock of the boat motion. Some of them might get missed out on. You just take them out. Damn, yep, I cut the eye. Cut the eye for sure. All right, when it comes down to jalapenos, like I told y'all, it's really just preference of like, do you want to keep the seeds? If you don't want to keep the seeds, I'm gonna try to cut both, both ways. You know, if you pussy, you can take the seeds out. But as far as cutting it with the seeds, I just do that. Again, you're not here to learn how to cut, okay? You're not here to learn how to do proper technique. You're here to learn how to make some shit that tastes good, bro. You understand what I'm saying? So I probably ain't teaching you how to do the most efficient way about going about none of this. But it's going, it was all of that motherfucker. You know what I mean? Stack them up on top of each other and we just dice them. You feel me? They're going to fall on the wayside. There's yeah, seeds flying everywhere. I know you see it. Now, the only difference with like putting the seed and keeping the seed versus not is just the amount of spice level you want. The seeds contain all of the spice and the skin has the flavor of jalapeno. Uh, habanero, I'll take the seeds out. You're taking the seeds out, you just want to cut it down the middle. Feel me? Cut inside. Try to cut around. Get as much of that as you can. That core out. There you have it. And you just see it's still a little bit of seeds, so you just cut around them. And just slither. Thing with this, you can cut them into like smaller pieces if you want to. It doesn't want to come with you. And then you would just line them up. Line them up like that, hold them, and boop. Hold them by the top. Scoot them closer, slowly. So you're getting them small chops. You know, I may tell you a lot of shit like I don't know what I'm doing, but I for sure can convince a nigga I know what I'm doing around this bitch. So that in there, boop, boop, boop. And then we have cilantro. I have no idea how to cut cilantro. So, cut a little bit off. And then I think you just hold this little motherfucker. You could roll it up. Honestly, that's what I might do. Like some spinach or some collard greens. Very important. Speed comes, but technique is what you should be focusing on. You feel me? Oh, that's cut up, finely minced. It's juice. Two lemons, three limes. You wanna juice your lemons and your limes for everything they got. You ever seen Corey in a house? Juicer. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. Now you always want to do your salsa first, because you need, absolutely need, to get that motherfucker time to rest and cool and let the ingredients mix in together. The longer time you let it rest, you know what I mean? I recommend like an hour, 
to three. That's Jesus Christ. Bitch ain't got nothing left. Take it all. Take this. Put it over the top. All we're gonna need is some salt, some pepper, man. Nothing extravagant, bro. Back to the basics. The Kroger pepper. Neither one of them ever let me down. Now, the salt gonna bring out the flavor and everything, but you don't wanna over salt. And depending on how the spice level you like on your salsa, that depends on how much pepper you wanna put in. Like I told y'all, I like a lot of fucking spice on that shit. I'll just get us a good stir. My favorite part about this is the melody of colors. You know what I mean? If anything not broken up or diced how you want it to, just stab at it. It'll break down over time. Cause the tomatoes and secreted day juice, the onions and secreted day juice, and then mixed in with the lime and lemon juice. It's gonna be a time to be had. This goes in the fridge until we're ready for the nachos. Mmm. 